today, you guys, we have another um, Kenyan dish for you. Solo is cooking dinner. He cooks a lot lately because I'm not cooking quite so much. <laughs> so we thought we'd tape this one so you could see what it is. It's called Sukumawiki. It's, um, and it's a greens dish mostly, but we put meat in it. You don't have to. A lot of people eat it without meat. It's very common to be done with meat too. Yes, um, but you don't have to. But you don't have to, yeah. Yeah. So it's a really good dish. If you guys try this out, you have to let us know if you like it. This is a staple food in Kenya, really. And in fact, the name for it, the greens, uh, the, the skuma wiki is not the real authentic name for it, but it has a real meaning for it. It's the cheapest meal people turn back to uh, when uh, they don't have any money, so. So sukuma wiki means like push, push the, the week. week. It's kind of people in Kenya <laughs> mostly get paid once a month. They don't get like two paychecks in a month. And so, the last week before the end of the month, most people are broke. And so this is the kind of what they turn back to, to push the week to be able to go into. So like Sarah said earlier, well, there are many different variations that people prepare skuma wiki. Oftentimes you could do it with vegetarian or you could add meat to it. And um, you could have um, things like yogurt or sour cream or none of it as well. It can be as plain as plain can be. But so I'm gonna just uh, kind of show you how we make it. Uh, what you need is oil, uh, thinly sliced beef, thinly sliced um, onions that's gonna go in first. Some oil, I use coconut oil. You can use any oil, people use all sorts of oil, all different kinds of oil. But I saute the onions here. A little harder than I should have had it there. I waited longer. About a pound or half a pound, depending on how meaty you want to make it. Um, but small cubes, just little cubes. I'm gonna brown it. I need a top here. Season it with like garlic or something. What's that, about two teaspoons of garlic paste? About a teaspoon. A teaspoon. So two cloves. I brown it. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Cook for a little bit here. Oh. Hey, snots. <laughs> Are you gonna try Sukuma Wiki tonight? Oh, well, once the meat is all almost. Cool. And I'll get the greens there. So I have two bags of color greens and one bag of chopped spinach. Um, in Kenya, they do it from scratch. In America, we cheat a little bit. So anyway, <laughs> there we go. So I'll do chopped colored. Second bag. And then chopped spinach. That's a much bigger bag of spinach, so it's about equal parts. Uh, no, no, no. I usually do a little bit more. You can do equal parts, but mostly the way I do it, I do more colored. More colored greens than yeah. two thirds colored, one third green. And then I take a can of diced tomatoes and just kind of spread it all around on it. And this is where. I just estimate, I guess. Um, about that much. That is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of about a, about a teaspoon. That was not a teaspoon. It was a teaspoon. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, this kind of teaspoon. I think... <laughs> Whatever. Maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon. <laughs> yeah. Salt to taste. If you don't like it, you can get some more salt. Then I'll cover that. Turn the heat back to high. Smells good in here. And how long are we gonna let it sit? We'll find out, because I've never timed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll say it later. So I I'm the recipe person. He's the fly by the seat of his pants person. Guess whose food tastes better? You gotta feel it, it's an experience here. <laughs> I wish he was home every night to cook, that would be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, and then we'll be totally broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh. 
because this was frozen I want to stir it up a little bit to get it cooking I won't overcook it that was about seven minutes on high and then I'll cover it up a little bit longer It's so about three minutes. I can tell that it's all boiling a little bit there. Th three extra minutes after closing it up. Then I'll get a little generous. You could do yogurt, sour cream, or even without. So, I, like I said, um, some people do yogurt, sour cream. It's about. Well, how much would you say that is? A cup, maybe close. Yeah, about three a cup. cup. Yeah, three fourths cup. Yeah, something like that. Tie it in there. At this time, I'll just turn it to low. And then. Side up a little bit. Get the sour cream in there. So then once that's all mixed in there, I'll turn it off. Cover it, be ready in five, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and you're good, good to go after that. So here's what the finished product looks like on the stove. Basically you will eat it with some starch. Sometimes they'll have what we call chapatis, which is a flatbread or ugali, which is a cornmeal or white rice. So you'll just take this. Um, I don't have the rice ready here or anything. I'm working on my starch right now, but you can use it, you can eat it with some, some kind of starch. Either Even bread, mashed potatoes. Even mashed potatoes. You can put it on mashed potatoes. That's it guys. Let us know if you try it and if you like it. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.